Sports Wrestling Hero Figs. We're going to be looking at the WWE Network Spotlight, the full series. Kurt Angle, Matt Hardy, Ricochet, Wendy Richter. We did get her loose and we did get a close look at this. If you guys are curious about what this has got all going on, go on the channel. And you know what? I figured we'd throw in a little bonus. Now, since there is one more you know, to this series, I figured we would throw in Jim the Anvil Nightheart as a little extra. I want to look at Matt Hardy right here. We are getting the dilapidated boat. We are getting him in the hieroglyphic image right there. You insert it, I believe, into that peg hole. You're getting, uh, what else are you getting? You're getting a shirt, bunch of hands on the back right here. They're talking about Vanguard. You can almost consider this part of the reason why Bray Wyatt brought the Fiend. That's where it started changing. He got thrown into the leg. Obviously, it ended up occurring a little bit down the road, but that's when he truly became Woken, man. Here's the full series on the back. Like I said, we got Wendy Richter. We got Kurt Angle in a current attire. We got Matt Hardy and then Ricochet right there all on the back. I'm glad that they did throw in quite a bit with this man, but the one thing, my biggest issue with this that I'm going to have to talk about this is somehow they managed to throw in rubber shirts on every single figure in this series. Here is Vanguard, the boat right there, the dilapidated boat to be exact. You can see on the side right here, we're getting a bunch of rivets. Is this bullet shots or is this nails? I couldn't tell you. Vanguard could though. On the back, we got some handles to pull it out of the water. On the side, we got the same rivets that we saw on the other side, as well as a nice line going all the way across. And then on the bottom, I'm really curious if this does float, man. I actually want to put it to the test. I want to put some guys in here. How much does it take for this? to go underwater and get all woken on you, man. Also want to do a quick size comparison on how Mad Hardy or really of any of these characters on how they fit in there. Oh, man, there goes the hieroglyphic image hitting me right in the eye. I'm not kidding, bro. <laughs> Went flying and it smacked me right across the face. Yes, that's what I was going for, Hero Figs. Look at that perfect reflection of the man they call Mr. Hardy. Well, man, because then we got Jeff also. You can see the beard. You can see the hair flaring out through the sides. You can see the piece that we're going to need right here to get it all attached to the hieroglyphic image. There it is. So right there, you put it in the little tiny peg hole. Oh, that's nice, man. Check this out. So, okay, it doesn't fly. It actually it doesn't. But if it did, just know this, man. If they put a little motorized device in here, we'd be asking quite a bit. If that was the case, man. You can see that we got the little things that actually do our all four of them. They actually all move right there, and you can see the tiny little camera right up front. That's really the only paint app that you'll see on this accessory just right there on the front. But on the sides, you can see all the mechanics that makes this the best ultimate Mad Hardy. Well, it was going to be Ultimate Edition, and then they changed their mind, and then we got rid of Bray Wyatt because it was going to be a two-pack. But now we're seeing it right here in the individual release. Here's the interchangeable hand. So we got the delete, delete, delete. We got the delete hands right here, the point Dexter. We also got the slightly open mic hands, and then we got the wide open hands right there on the man they call Matt Hardy. Check it out. The shirt, nothing on the shirt, just the regular black tank top mold. It is being brought together by three holes right here on both sides on the back same thing i do want to remove it same torso here's a quick comparison from something that we've gotten i think the wrestlemania matt hardy might be the best representation to put him side by side with the expression uh, no because i feel no it is the exact same head scan all right so we are getting the same head scan that we did get with this one right here obviously the tight or not the tights but the pants they're gonna be black well not black more like a gray i'm not gonna bother taking this off you already did review it but just know this man it's just a solid bright white right there torso same torso correct torso very pleased to see this going forward with Matt Hardy earlier once actually you know what Jeff Hardy as well as Matt Hardy always did have this look anytime we got the shirtless look this is kind of what we saw right there the sleeves or not the sleeves but the wrist straps are coming about three quarters of the way up to the forearm We're getting the solid black belt right there I just really like the finish to this I know some people in the comments when we did talk about this figure coming out so a lot of people wanted to see like a custom Dean Ambrose doing like a head swap on it so you know to put it to the test I'll go ahead and do that for you guys we do have a short hair Dean Ambrose from BEW animation so we can definitely get that all represented right there all right so here it is here's Vanguard the boat so as you can see proportion wise I'm gonna say it is right there on the money and then all you gotta do is bend the legs right there and we can go for a boat ride man Matt Hardy will you float I don't know hero fakes you haven't tried it we will just stay tuned man it's gonna be on there here's 
there's the handle right there like we talked about on the front. The only thing we're missing, dude, is the paddles. We had some paddles. We can have those in a hardcore match. We can get Ricochet, bash him across the head, and let him know that he's got a runner-up right here for the best figure on the wave. Well, if the knee pad was all addressed, maybe we could talk about that. There's Ricochet on the back. 188. For some reason, I thought he was scaling at least in the 200-pound range. Now, Hero Fix, this is stomping ground 2019. Maybe in his later days, maybe he'll get a little bit. I'm sure that's what Vince McMahon wants to see, man. He always wants these guys jacked up. We get in the U.S. Championship right here is the accessory. We're getting the open hands on the interchangeable parts. And then for the other accessory, we're getting the Ricochet shirt. That about wraps it up for the accessories. Now, let's get the man out. Let's get this damn shirt out and put him side by side with the other, the only other elite that we've gotten with Ricochet. I, I'm sure a lot of people still hold this as the best, but today we're going to find that out, man. We do. Because I think if they were to take care of the whole knee pad situation, I, I can't honestly, I don't know what it is, man, about certain things, but Mattel seems to stick with. Like when they do something wrong, they just say, you know what, people are still going to pick it up. If they really want a knee pad, if they want to add it, they can do that on their own. No, we shouldn't be doing that, man. One and only should automatically be coming with one and only knee pad on the left well as well as on the right but that one was just a solid black so again that's going to be the biggest complaint when it comes down to this figure the head scan it is the same look right here from his previous which is elite series 69 all the tattoos are all there he hasn't added any more in the last several months so there's no reason why we should have gotten any more with this figure torso brand new torso well not from this one it's the same torso but what i'm saying is that when this one was introduced for first time in the line this was a brand new sculpt and a lot of people were arguing man everybody's like no man that's seth rollins no that's fine dango but when it came down to it all the more and more we looked at it we did notice that we got something brand new on the belt getting a solid black belt to wrap it all the way around and this was established in 1988 hero fakes is one year older than you sir the old man right Right here looking at figgies at age 32 hey nothing wrong with that man this is adult collectors only boots right here solid black coming all the way down wrist straps interchangeable hands do pop out pretty easy i mean i'm sure a lot of you guys we've had the interchangeable parts for quite some time so there's really no point down to getting the nitty gritty but if you really are curious man again these are exclusive to target so you're gonna have to go out there and hunt or you might have to do the same thing that kurt angle did and what was that hero fakes what did kurt angle did well this is the first thing that angle did first he had his match right wrestlemania 35 right there but he also attempted going into the wild. What happened when he went into the wild? Well, I'm telling you. Well, it wasn't Kurt Angle. It was here. It was actually WHF. But when we did go out there, the only thing they were restocking was the first series. I could not find these for the life of me. And I'm telling you, we did search quite a bit. I mean, we went through all aisles, even on the clearance section, and we got absolutely nothing because why? You suck. You suck! Here is the You Suck hand, 1999 to 2019, dude. That is 20 years. Will he make a return? You dang skippity doo -dah. If Saudi Arabia wants him, guess what? Saudi Arabia gets him. Here's the interchangeable hands. We're getting one with the strap. We're getting one without two mic open hands holdings. And the ones that are on the, on the figure right here is down the entranceway. Dun, 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 dun. The tight design, I am a fan. I've always been a fan of Kurt Angle tight designs. They've always been bright. This is going to be a good representation. This is also a current look right here. I believe the only current Kurt Angle when it comes to the in-ring attire. Yes, we got the general manager, but this is the only thing that we could put them side by side because this is a later Kurt, younger Kurt. The man always kept them gains, my dude. He was out there three times a week, maybe even four. I think on his return, man, he went on this whole hardcore diet to give you a side-by-side face comparison on the previous elite to what we're seeing right here as, far as the olympic gold medalist this is the other accessory that you could also include with that we are getting the olympic gold medal with all the stars coming around and a nice gold to bloom right up front stars only start right here by the chest area and they stop about 
yeah, halfway through the back end. Here's this tattoo. There's the stripes, solid black on the left. But once you get on the inside, dude, we are getting his name. We are getting Kurt. We are getting Angle, and we're getting two stars right there on the side with some nice blue outline to wrap up the red right there. Knee pads. Here's the knee pads. The knee pads. I'm uh, here's one thing that they could have done without. I mean, they did it with Ricochet, but not with Kurt Angle. So there is a question that's left behind. Why, man? You did the straps even behind the knee pads. You can see right underneath the knee pads as you can see all the taping right there it got all of the details so what's up man what what is the reasoning behind ricochet why do you guys got against ricochet and not adding all that proper design Ooh, i like these boots man not necessarily boots but wrestling shoes right there from the olden days you got the shoelaces coming all the way up getting a nice red outline coming up right here and then the black it's gonna have the black soles to kind of have it match it right there towards the back side man that is awesome. Asics, I believe, is the brand that he wears. Asics is the top brand when it comes to wrestling shoes. Not boots, but actual wrestling in ring mat. Now that we've covered all four, man, need to see where they stand as far as ranking. Now, Wendy Richter, first time on the line. I was very pleased to see her. I gotta give it to Matt Hardy. Think all the accessories. He's getting one up right there to rank number one. Number two, I gotta give it to Wendy Richter. Number three, Kurt Angle. And look, Ricochet. Had it been different when it came down to the knee pads, he would have been ranking at least a little bit higher, but that's kind of how I feel about the overall set. Hero Fix, how do you feel about Jim the Anvil Nightheart? Well, told you, man, we're throwing you, sir, as a little extra bonus. An original member of the legendary Heart Foundation. Did we get him in the past, Hero Fix? We've only gotten him once in the Elite Series. We got him in Battle Pack and I believe also in Basic Figure form. So I think all in all, four releases of Jim the Anvil Nightheart. It might only be three, I think, the Battle Pack is coming to mind for the release in the basic the nice leather jacket the only man well here fix this is the walmart exclusive this is not part of the target line that's true here is the jacket we are getting heart foundation we're getting his name on the back we're getting that broken skull that stone cold my bro i know but look at this he's missing his teeth so technically yeah still a broken skull partially on the front we're getting some nice buttons to wrap it up Dude, i like this jacket a lot i don't know if it's the exact same release of what we saw with the Elite Series 75 Finn Balor, but it's looking quite familiar. Here's the interchangeable hands. We're getting two close fists. We're getting two mic open hand. And then for the glasses right here, we can put them in. We can take them off. Do you guys want to see him with the glasses? I'm sure some of you do. I mean, the man like wearing glasses at night. When it was dark out, he'd be hitting the club. Uh-oh, we lost it. It went flying. Where'd it go? It's right here, Hero Face. You don't got to worry about a thing, man, because we found him. I got you covered. Thank you, Jim the Anvil Nightheart. But well, how do you look like with the jacket on well we got to have the moment of truth man this is how people want to display him this is the way that people want to come down the rampway he didn't wear it during in-ring competition it was only to make his glamorous entrance with the man they called the hitman or sometimes owen hart he partnered with all even uh was it brian pillman yeah brian pillman was part of the heart foundation there was a good vast majority of top names from canada over there being brought together in this team and this man is only going to bring it one up from the previous figure previous one we just had a regular close mouth nothing happy this is a this is definitely a happy scan i'm gonna call it that well not a happy but uh wide open right there when it comes to the mouth this is more of a serious look because hero fix can't get him focused right there which one i like better well i think this one i think uh the expression on this one i'm definitely digging a lot better the glasses do sit a little bit funny you got to mess around with them for them to sit pro properly right there on the ear once you do take it off you can see that the eyebrows they are right man so is all the hair same torso we're getting way more hair i mean you can actually see it right there on the side of the rib cage so it doesn't just stop in the chest man the hair is all over the place this one they kind of got away from it and this one is also more pronounced you can see it's got a darker finish to it all we got an anvil instead of a heart we're getting the pink up top pink on bottom on this one black up top and then black on the bottom so those are the main differences and this is also based on an earlier Jim Anvil. So if you want like a tag team look for Brett the Hitman Hart, yeah, this is going to be it. This is going to be something more down the road. We're getting some more anvils right there on the side. So very similar when it comes to like the tight design for the Hitman, but obviously Brett the Hitman Hart, he had some different, I, I believe his were like solid black lines. This is kind of reflect what the name has right behind it all. The boots right there. Anvils all over the place. They have them planted right here in the WHF front and center. Gold 
Golden Era Hero Figs Collection on the back. We got to show them the back, man. Anvil right there on the tights. Nothing on the back. I'm going to give them a clear and solid 10. I can't take anything away from him, man. We're getting the jacket. So right there alone, man. And the fact that he's an exclusive, I want to wish you guys all the best of luck finding these, man. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one.